these protests though, you want to do something really meaningful, go to a protest that has nothing to do with you personally. That's what we're seeing more of. I did that for the first time. I did that for the first time. I went to a Muslim ban protest, man. Banning the Muslims, I went out there. This is what they don't tell you. When you go to a protest that ain't got shit to do with you, you can just leave whenever you want. <laughs> I never knew that was an option because I only go to black, pro I'm from Birmingham. All we do is go to black protests. And when you at a black protest, you there. There's no leaving. <laughs> You think black church long, go to a black protest. <laughs> Better pack a snack and a diaper. <laughs> Ain't no sneaking off. I just left the Muslim man. They waved, see you later, thank you. I tried to tiptoe away from a black protest. I got two steps away from the group. They said, where you going, brother? The struggle is this way. My bad, fam. That's on me. I thought we was gonna make that left. We're making a little, okay, struggles, okay, let's go this way, okay. <laughs> you gotta respect anybody that's at somebody else's protest. You see a lot of that with black folks, man. Black women, man, black women just be supporting folks, bro. It's amazing. I'll tell you right now, you see a black woman at your march, get them a hug and $20 and cover their Uber ride home, Uber black. Because <laughs> black people will be perfectly justified in not showing up to anybody else's march. We ain't, we ain't gotta show up to your shit. If you'd have listened to us, you wouldn't even be marching, because it happened to us first. Half the stuff you marching about happened to black people first. We was trying to tell you. You see a black person at a march that doesn't have anything to do with them, that is a gracious, giving soul. Because black people will be perfectly justified and only tending to issues affecting the black community. We could fill our calendar just walking for black issues from crime to poverty to unemployment to home loans. Like, we ain't got the time, man, to be helping everybody. So when people make the time, that's a blessing. Why do you think black superheroes only save black people. <laughs> They're busy, they ain't got the time to save the rest of the world. That's a luxury that only white superheroes have. My neighborhood's great. What else is going on out here in the world? Like, black superheroes gotta focus on they block. I watch Luke Cage, Luke Cage is my show. Love Luke Cage. Luke Cage, if you don't know nothing about comic books or superheroes, Luke Cage is this TV show about an indestructible black man. The brother's bulletproof, super strength, he'll throw a, a truck at you like a football. You would think with his resume, he would be somewhere with Iron Man trying to save the universe. This motherfucker never leaves Harlem. <laughs> he ain't got the time. Whole TV show, eight blocks, that's all it is. Luke Cage ain't got time to be saving everybody. He ain't even got time to go to Hell's Kitchen to help Daredevil. That's how busy Luke Cage is. Can't even take the one line. Luke Cage don't care about the rest of the world. Luke Cage is like, look, until Thanos come by the Apollo Theater, that ain't none of my business. Sweet Christmas.